What do you think is more dangerous, sitting here listening to my talk <laughs> or skiing at a Whistler? <laughs> so for skiing, the risk is at least below 1%. But sitting in this room, the risk to have a get a stroke is actually very high. In fact, 80% of Canadians had at least one risk factor for stroke. So neurons are basic unit for brain functions. They form networks and which enable us to talk, think, and behave. So when stroke occurs, for example, the ischemic stroke, the blood supply to the brain is blocked, so neurons are challenged by stresses, and they eventually die and never come back. So now the question is, how to save these neurons? So neuron death is regulated by signals, and this cell death signal is transducted by signaling proteins one after another, and they start the cell death machineries. So we believe once we found the most critical signaling proteins and block their communication, then we can save those neurons. So my research have found such signaling proteins. One protein called JNK here is a kinase, and the other one is its regulator called NIP. So they bind together to communicate and when stroke occurs, so NIP uses a special interaction site to bind to JNK and decide whether JNK can start to kill because JNK can start the cell death machineries. <laughs> so we design a therapeutic molecule to specifically target these special sites to block their communication and then terminate their signals and then we save neurons. So apply these therapeutic molecules in animals that has a stroke, significantly and successfully reduce their brain injuries and rescue their functions. So now I have this drug candidate for rescue our brains against stroke. And more importantly, this, the, the, this novel molecular mechanism I have discovered provide a potential drug target, not only for stroke, but for other diseases with neural degeneration, like Alzheimer's disease. So now we have this golden bullet to fight back this very serious stroke disease. Thanks. <laughs>